How's it going gamers? Ready to level up your close quarter combat skill? Today, we'll be unlocking Gravity Wave, the game changer you've been dreaming of. Imagine facing overwhelming odds and channeling your inner Jedi. This power has got you covered. Strap in and let's embark on this power from beyond journey together. First things first, to acquire this game changing power, head to Cassipia 2A. This is part of the Constellation main story mission in Starfield. Make your way to the planet and land at the Scanner Anomaly location. Once you land, exit your ship and enter your scanner mode, and follow the distortion. This will guide you to the temple where we can unlock this power. This is by far the hardest temple to find in my opinion, so pay close attention to the distortions on your scanner. But, while you make your way around, be sure to check out some of the key locations you find in your hub. And here's like a little bit of a pro tip, check out locations like caves, because they can have a lot of the resources that are found on the planet, not just in that biome, but like on the whole planet. And if you're lucky, you can find rock piles also. So this is a great way to stock up on some resources for crafting or selling to merchants. And the other one you want to look for is gravity anomalies. You get like 20 XP for discovering the location, and then for scanning the gravity anomaly, if it's your first one, you get around 200 XP. And these anomaly locations also have stockpiles of resources, and they have super rare resources that you can mine by them as well. So with this being one of the first quests you get in the main storyline, I highly recommend checking out all these side locations and just really buffing your character up and getting the most XP you can while doing these missions and powering your character up in general. And at this point, I've been to almost all the locations, and I saw this gravity anomaly on top of this hill. I was heading to this one over here, but look at this. We actually got the quest updated, and we found the temple over here. So, like I mentioned guys, this was one of the hardest temples I found. Most of the other ones were just like in the wide open area and you could see them from a distance. For this temple, I really had to rely on the scanner itself and the static that's caused by the anomaly. And here we go, we arrived at Temple Beta. Again, for discovering this location, we get another 20 XP so you can see how this quest line, Power From Beyond, is just a really good way to kind of farm XP, especially in the early game. Now let's go through this area and head inside the temple. Inside the temple, this is a low gravity area, so your character will be flying around. Keep your focus on these gravity concentration areas and make sure you fly through them. Continue to move through these until a strange object finishes its rotation. Fly in and you will be greeted with this short cutscene. And congratulations, you've just unlocked the gravity wave power. This power emits a gravitational force strong enough to propel almost anything or anyone. Now let's talk combat. This power is a game changer for close quarter combat. As you can see, there's a little bit of a distance applied. Uh, it didn't quite reach the guy at the top of these steps. Let's go around, see if we can get a flanking position on him and try again. And there we go. You can see how useful this grav wave is. It basically knocks down the enemy and then allows me to pump them full of shotgun shells. This is super useful when reloading and just using the grav push to kind of buy yourself that time. And if you're familiar with my other power videos, you know I typically look at combat and other use cases. But for this grav wave, I was kind of struggling finding some other use cases for it. So if you have any creative ideas, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Grav wave can also be used depending on your environment. So you can see here we're on top of a building and this spacer is shooting at me. I let them get close to the edge and use a grav wave. They fall off the building and I jump down and get some cheeky little shots in. Now let's go inside and talk about when you might be outnumbered and how to utilize grav wave to your benefit. And you can see a lot of really high level enemies. So, I just do a little grab push, and boom, they all fall over and I just run back upstairs to collect myself. 
I switch over to my one punch and start raining fire down on them. This is a really great way to initiate combat. They fall over and then that gives me time to react either to reload my weapon or to finish them off on the ground when they're practically defenseless. And look at this dude trying to walk up the stairs on me, but he doesn't know that I'm a starboard and I just grab wave him. This is kind of like an exploit because when you knock the enemies down, they're not able to do anything. So if you're outnumbered, just unleash the gravity force and pump your foes forth shotgun shells. So what's the verdict? The Gravity Wave is a super useful addition to any close quarter combat build. Like I mentioned before, while I usually explore various use cases, this one's primarily combat focused. In my book, the Gravity Wave secures a solid B tier. The main reasoning is when you push someone, it gives you that little moment to do the exploit of just like pumping them full of shotgun shells or maybe like reloading. But at the end of the day, this doesn't cause any damage to the enemies. So that's kind of my reasoning behind the B tier. If it did cause damage as well, I might bump it up to an A. Let me know guys in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Did I miss anything? Did I miss any ways you could utilize the grab wave that I didn't consider? Ready to unleash gravity on your foes? Smash that like button for more Starfield content and share your thoughts down below. Until next time.